The second control in the first clause is, review of the policies for information security. Now, assuming that there are information security policies in place, this control insists on reviewing them regularly. This signifies the importance that a policy is a living document, which should not be developed once and thrown on the shelf. It is important that the policies are reviewed on predetermined intervals or on triggered events, once significant changes occurred, to ensure they remain relevant, adequate, and effective. When a policy is being planned, there has to be someone who is responsible for its ownership, and also responsible for the communication with the management to get approvals, and for review and evaluation of the policy. Triggered events that would prompt a policy review could include, changes to the organization environment, changes to the business circumstances, changes to legal conditions or changes to the technical environment. Once the review has been conducted, if any changes to it are needed, then management's approval has to be obtained again like with developing a new policy, especially if the changes are significant. In some cases, the reviews could deem a policy obsolete or not valid anymore, in which case the policy should be retired. Changes to policies have to be communicated to the intended audience, such as the employees and the relevant external parties. This concludes the controls in the Information Security Policies Clause. Next, we will be talking about the second clause, which is the Organization of Information Security.